Hello beautiful and thank you for clicking on today's video and welcome to my garage. If it's a little bit echoey in here, I apologize, it is a garage. Um, as you saw by the title, we are going to be talking about what is in my minimalist car today. I often get asked online and also in person because I am a minimalist, what kind of stuff I typically carry around with me, whether it's in my purse, while traveling, or even in my vehicle. Living in the United States, my vehicle is kind of like I don't want to say it's not an option to have one because you can live in the U.S. without one, but in order to get around in like a comfortable way, you do, it's, the United States is very car dependent. So because I have my car with me almost every time I go out, a lot of the things that I don't have to carry in my purse end up in my car. So today I wanted to share that with you. If you're interested in my what's in my purse videos that I've done in the past, those will be linked down below and let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Quick note is some of the things in my car do change season to season because it does snow where I live. So when it's snowing, there's a small list of things that I keep in my car, both to like remove snow from my car and also like safety wise in case I get stranded somewhere in the snow. But right now we are just entering fall at the time of me filming this video. So most of those things aren't in my car. The things that I'm going to show you are things that kind of just live in my car, but if I'm going on a specific event, certain items will, you know, come in and come out. But with all that being said, let's get going. So I'm going to start with this door, the driver's side door right here. And in this door, I have pet popcorn, one ingredient, dehydrated chicken treats for my dog. There have been a couple of instances where I've gone out with him for like an appointment or something and I didn't because he gets car sick so we try to not feed him too much with like car. It's a normal puppy thing for puppies to sometimes get car sick. So when he's going to like an appointment or something we try to not feed him a couple hours before and not give him too many treats during unless it's like a specific training session but then we stay there. It's a whole thing. Anyway we try to not give him a lot of treats. But there's been a couple of times where I've been taking him to an appointment and we come across something that does require a bit of training. Most recently, I took him to a pool to try and teach him how to swim. And I wasn't allowed to have treats at the pool, but when we were walking out of the pool area to the car, he walked over a sewer grate and it scared him. And I wanted him to learn that it's not something scary. I wanted him to sort of conquer that fear. And unfortunately, because I wasn't planning on breeding treats because I couldn't have them at the pool and I didn't, you know, intend to train him after the swimming lesson, uh, I had to go out and buy these because I needed to get him to walk on the sewer grate comfortably and not be afraid of it, kind of conquer that fear and like social... Anyway, all of that is to say is I had to buy these <laughs> and I've decided to keep some in my car at all times because that sort of a scenario has happened three times already and you would think I would learn to just always bring treats. I have not. So these stay in my car. These are just dehydrated chicken, one ingredient. Um, I'm not partial to this specific brand. Any single ingredient dehydrated chicken is good. Eventually I'm going to buy a dehydrator and make my own, but for now that's that. Also in this little uh, side compartment here is a lint roller because I have a dog. And although he doesn't shed very much, we go places like the vet where he'll lay in other dogs shedding and then get all over me. And I wear a lot of black, so I keep that just for that reason. I also kept a lint roller in my car even before I had a dog just because you never know when you're going to need it and you need to look presentable and it's kind of like the only way to really quickly and effectively remove hair and fur and dust off your clothing. So that stays there. And that is it for this side panel. Now we are going to move to the center console. For the center console I have two cup holders, a little like bucket area, and then the front I have two sort of open compartments. So I'm going to start with these two open compartments first. Number one was a gift from my mom and it is a glass window breaker hammer slash seatbelt cutter. Anybody who knows me in real life, and also probably most of you know that I'm like very much a prepare for emergency type person. I get that from my mom. <laughs> so she gave this to me. I don't remember what gift giving holiday it was, but it was one of those gifts that's just like, hey, keep this in your car. Be safe, please. My husband has some um, pretty self-explanatory why you would want this. And it's quick access right here in this little area. 
Then in this front little open compartment, I have my driving gloves. A lot of the sun damage that our skin takes on, whether you're concerned about aging or even like cancer, if you're pale like me, is on the hands and on the face. A lot of times people will wear sunscreen on their face every day, which is really awesome, but they neglect their hands. I used to wear sunscreen on my hands every day. Ever since COVID and also having a dog, I wash my hands so much throughout the day that that's no longer really an option. So I got these gloves, which will be linked down below if you're interested. And they work just like driving gloves. These have a UV protection of, I think, like SPF 50 or something like that, where they're just, they don't let the light in. So they're great, great driving gloves. I wash them probably once every two weeks or so, sometimes more, sometimes less. But those stay there and I drive with those all the time. Then on my actual, like, <laughs> I was going to call it the Prindle. If you know what that's from, the Prindle, let me know in the comments down below. But the little, like, gear shift thing, but it's not a gear shift thing because the car is automatic. I don't know what it's called other than the Prindle. <laughs> but um, I have a couple of hair ties that I keep with me at all times just because you never know when the one that you live with on your wrist is going to break. So these are my emergency ones. They don't take up any space being there, and that's where I like to keep them. I also have this that an old friend gave to me. I believe she got it in, see that looks like Mandarin. So I'm assuming that it was when she went to Hong Kong. She frequented a lot of areas of Asia, so I'm pretty sure this is from Hong Kong. Um, and it's kind of like a good luck driving charm to keep you safe. So I keep that and I've never been in a fatal accident, so it must be working. Then hanging on my rear view mirror here, I have this little bear. This was a gift from my sister-in-law um, and I keep it, it's super cute and it reflects the sun in a really pretty way when the sun hits it. All right, moving on to the center console. Typically anywhere I go, especially with my dog, I will have a full water bottle sitting in the center console. I don't have that right now because I'm not going anywhere, but that is something that typically does live in my car. I also will often keep an empty like to-go coffee container because I do spontaneously get coffee quite often and I like to be less wasteful when I can with that process. So those two things typically sit in these two cup holders. They're not there right now, but they're typically there. What I do have <laughs> is actually a can of dog food. Uh, my dog has had some issues. He's having dental pain right now because he's teething and it's kind of like really, he's having trouble eating. So um, I picked this up from the vet today and I actually need to bring that inside. So I'm gonna, <laughs> hold on. Okay, so that's it for the cup holders. Moving into the actual center console compartment, I have quite a few things and I'm just gonna pull them out here, put them all on my lap and show them to you like haul style. Okay, so starting off, I have napkins. Whenever I go to a restaurant, even like a sit down restaurant, they tend to give you like a billion napkins and then you don't use them all and then they end up getting thrown away. And napkins are very useful just like, to clean up small messes or like whatever. So anytime I'm at a restaurant and there's extra napkins through the drive through whatever, I put them in my car. So these are the napkins. I have some from, I think McDonald's and then some from a sit down restaurant that I went to recently where they gave, there were only two of us at the table and we used some of the napkins. Do you see how many that is? Goodness me. So those stay in there just for little accidents. Additionally, I have wet like one's wet napkins for similar sort of concept, little accidents, things like that. Then I have two Purell's or hand sanitizer. This one's almost empty. That's why I have the second one in here. I usually only keep one. Um, we got Target brand and Dollar Store brand. Those have lived in my car. I don't even remember if I used to have them in my car pre-pandemic, probably, but they're there. Then I have a hand cream because I don't carry this in my purse. Because I find when I'm like out and about, I very commonly have like a device in my hand, usually my phone or my wallet or whatever. And um, I don't want it to get oily, but I do find that I have like dry hands a lot while out, probably also because of the hand sanitizer. So this is just a little body lotion from like a hotel. And I keep these and take these from the hotel specifically for this. So, and then I have, this is uh, from Russia. I don't know if you can get these in the United States, but my mother-in-law, the last time I saw her, gave me like 16 packs of them. Basically, they're like a ginger and lemon, like Altoid or like a cough drop thing. 
they're more similar in texture to Altoids, but they help with motion sickness and they're more natural than like Dramamine. So this is kind of like my first line of defense if I get car sick, which I sometimes do, particularly when my husband is driving, particularly on like windy roads, obviously. So that is everything that is in the center compartment. And now I'm gonna move to the passenger side and show you what's over there. All right, now we're in the passenger side. So I'm gonna show you the glove box and also what I keep in this door right here. So starting with the glove box, just like the center console, I'm gonna pull everything out and then show it to you sort of haul style. So this is the like user manual that came with my car. And in here, I keep my AAA membership in addition to my registration and any other sort of like important car related documents that I need that all sits in here and it just fits in nicely and I would love to like just have that but unfortunately I have found that this is stuff that I also need so going in next I have a little baggie of reusable straws because when I forget my to-go cup I do like to at least have a reusable straw so I have some regular straws and some boba straws because my husband and I do enjoy boba from time to time. Next, I have this little pouch that has emergency money, like cash, I think there's like $40, and then just spare change that I used to use for meters. But nowadays, all the meters are like digital through an app, which is kind of annoying in my opinion, but I still have change in my car, I guess, just in case. Then I have a pair of old sunglasses that my husband uses when he forgets his when he's driving, which happens often, so I keep them in my car along with my sunglasses, which are prescription, and I legally need them to drive, and then my glasses glasses uh, for when I'm driving at night. And that's what they all look like. They tend to live in my car. Sometimes they'll float into the house, but typically because they're prescription and I need them to drive, they live here. Then the only other thing in my glove compartment is this little pouch here. And in this little pouch, I have quite a few odds and ends. I have two flashlights this one was given to me from a company and it's just sort of bright <laughs> like a flashlight should be this one i have linked in my amazon storefront under like emergency supplies i keep one in my car and then a couple littered around the house comes from uh living in florida and having hurricane preparedness but this one's great because it doesn't require batteries this is going to sound annoying but it's a hand crank flashlight and then you load it up and it works, which is great because then you don't need to rely on batteries for your flashlight. And these have come in handy more than once. Then I have two chargers, whether it's charging my phone in my car or not. I have an Apple one and then a micro USB for my husband's phone or anybody else's. And I also keep the brick in case I'm, you know, somewhere where I have to go inside to plug in my phone. Then the last few items in here is a couple of pens, a nail file for when I get a hangnail, which happens all the time. Uh, and that can just take care of that kind of in the moment. Some hair clips and a hair tie, and then a couple of tampons. And that is everything that I keep in this pouch in the cabin of my car. I used to keep more emergency supplies, but I found that a lot of them weren't really necessary, so that's all I keep right now. Then moving into the door of my car, the passenger door, I have a roll of toilet paper that I have used as Kleenex and I have used as toilet paper. Sometimes when you go on hikes, there's not always an outhouse available, or even if there is an outhouse available, oftentimes there's no toilet paper. So now I just keep a roll in my car and then if I have to use it while on trail, I'll, I have some supplies in the back that tie in with this, but I don't litter. You can rest assured that, but I do keep toilet paper in my car. Doggy poop bags, same thing. We don't litter even with doggy poop. So I keep these, these are just from Amazon. Then I have baby wipes, which come in handy for small cleanups, similar to the wet wipes, but these ones are like safe for my dog if I have to clean his paws or his butt or whatever, um, my hands, these are great. I also use baby wipes myself when I'm going number two, so I keep them in the car in case I need to do that out in public. And then the last thing here in this door is just a little collapsible dog bowl. This gets cleaned often. Right now it's just been cleaned and it's sitting in my car waiting for the next time he and I go to the park or something. So all of that just lives right here in this door. And if somebody happens to be sitting here and they need to put something there, they can obviously just kick this stuff out, but that's what sits there. 
It's kind of like my sanitation station. <laughs> okay, um, next I'm gonna move to the back seat of my car, which there isn't too much to talk about there, and then the trunk where there's a few bit more interesting things. Okay, so here's how my back seat looks pretty standard, and if I'm traveling with people, I'll obviously like collapse this and put it away. But this is just like a tufted, waterproof little back seat liner, and it's great for, you know, if he has an accident or if he throws up or whatever. And this is very easy to clean with the exception of like dragging it out of my car and putting it back in my car. So I also have this towel because he does get car sick from time to time. As he's getting older, that's happening less, but rolling up a towel and then throwing it in the washing machine is a bit easier than taking this whole thing out and hosing it down. Especially if he throws up in route somewhere, then I would have to fold this up, put it in my car and there'd be nothing. So this is kind of like, if he throws up going to the park, then I can roll this up and he can throw up on this coming home. <laughs> he doesn't get that car sick anymore and it's getting better as he ages, but this is just what we're doing for now. He doesn't have accidents in the car, which is great. Then we have two dog toys because he's teething. So I have a hard one for him to chew on and then a soft one, which is this cute little rainbow hat because my dog is gay. <laughs> and then in here, I have a cool towel. So this is a towel that is designed to get heat off of your body really easily. Me as a human, I use them when I'm hiking, but because my dog is half poodle, he grows sort of that hair instead of fur, so he doesn't have that double coat to insulate and regulate his body temperature. Also, because he's a puppy, he has trouble regulating his body temperature, so he gets overheated quite easily. And the way that we sort of remedy that before we go home, we give him water and ice and stuff like that, obviously, but we can soak this with water and sort of like take, like brush the heat off of him. So I keep that here always just in case he gets overheated. And that is gonna be everything for the back seat here. This is what it looks like pretty much always. All right, then we're moving on to the trunk. And like I said, I do keep a few more supplies in here during the winter, but right now we're not there yet. So it looks like this so that it's nice and clean. This is like an emergency blanket that I keep just sort of outly folded like that. It also protects my trunks like carpeting. Underneath, I do keep some items though. So this is sort of like the clean look, but there's stuff hidden underneath that I'll get to in a second. So starting off, I have two or three reusable grocery bags that I keep in my car. Then I have this, even though it's not winter yet, it's fall. So sometimes we get the occasional little bit of snowfall. So I do keep this in my car just in case for that. And then I have this which these are not my initials, but I thrifted this just because it was sort of the perfect size for what I was looking for. All right, and then in here, I have kind of more, I don't want to call them emergency supplies, but they're like supplies of emergencies I've had and have come up that I now keep in my car. I have more toilet paper in case the one in front runs out. And then when I'm hiking, if I need to go off trail, and there's obviously no place to like responsibly throw this away. I keep a throwaway, this is an Amazon bag, but I'll keep like a shopping bag or even like a doggy poop bag. You know, use the toilet paper, throw it in the bag, and then just like your dog's poop when you're going on a walk, you carry it until you have a uh, responsible place to throw it away. So I keep this in here. Deodorant, um, in case I'm stinking when I'm out and about. And then I have, a pouch within a pouch that has, I believe, just feminine products. Yeah, feminine products, toothpaste, floss, and a toothbrush. So that's what's in here, just in case, you know, I'm out and about and I'm kind of not so fresh in one way or another. So this is like emergency hygiene bag. And then last but not least is the remainder of my trunk. Just under this blanket, I keep a pair of jeans in the event that I go somewhere and it's a little bit cooler than I anticipated, along with a light jacket. I used to keep way more clothing options in my car when I lived in California because the weather would be so drastic between the morning and the afternoon that I had to bring layers with me always. But now that I live where I do, this is all I have found that I need. Additionally, if I open up into the tire well, Where's the thing? 
I have tire fix-it kit along with jumper cables, some water and emergency food, and a couple of rags. And that's more just like vehicle emergency maintenance along with like human emergency maintenance that I uh, have needed from time to time. I used to keep a glass water bottle in here because plastic obviously with the heat of your car can sometimes like leach BPA. But unfortunately, now that I live somewhere with a winter, I was fearful that the glass would like freeze and crack and then flood my car. So now I keep plastic and I just replace them every four months or so. And then the last thing that I briefly mentioned earlier is this emergency blanket. It can be used for picnics. It can be used for warmth if you get stranded along with many other things. And that just sort of lays out like that. And that is gonna be it for what is in my car. Let me know, is there anything in my car that you also keep in your car? I'm always curious to know. I also wanna know if there's something that I don't have that you must have in your car. I'm always curious about my subscribers, kind of how much they're similar to me versus not. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already, and with all of that being said, I'll see you in a couple days with another video. Bye.